Hi guys, this is Corey with Sellercore.com, the free auction template editor. I'm going to show you how to upload images into the Sellercore editor. It's pretty easy. There's two main ways of doing it. So I'm going to walk through that real quick. So first thing is, is that when you load Sellercore as a guest, you're just going to get the editor. You cannot upload images as a guest. To upload images, you need to become a light user. It's free and very easy to do. All you do is go to Sellercore.com or from within the editor. Just hit free registration and you fill out the create light light user account. It's just an email and password. It's all it is and never ask for money. All this does is create a unique ID for you. So when you upload images, Sellercore knows who they belong to. So once you become a light user, you also get access to the Sellercore manager, which would be this. And from in here, you can manage your files, your images, create slideshows, manage templates, you know, change your settings. And this happens to be the, the image manager right here. So we'll go back to uploading images. So we'll go to a template page. Just click here. So there's two main ways to do this. You can either upload directly into the editor or you can upload it into the manager and then use your images in the editor. So we'll start with in the editor. So just click a spot. I'm going to go to my image icon. Here it is. And I have two little icons over here. I have a folder icon and a plus icon. This would load images that I already had uploaded and this will add a new image. So we'll click that my new image upload box appears you'll see a few things here I can select my own file name I can put it in a folder I've created it'll give me some image details I can choose to make the image public or not images almost always you want public and then over here I can choose a file directly off the computer or I can choose it from a URL source or copy and paste it into the box and I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick so if I were to go to image URL this would be the URL at the top of the box to an image so to get that I went to Google under images over here. I just did a simple search for laptops. It gave me a bunch of laptops. And you know, if I find one I liked, I don't know. I'll just pick one somewhere. We'll do this one. Hit here and hit view image. What this is going to do is take me to the actual image URL. So across the top, you'll see I have it hidden for this demo. But across the top, you'll see the URL. It'll be a dot jpeg dot gif dot dot png whatever it happens to be if you have multi screens you can just click the image drag and drop it in that box or you can right click hit copy image url or copy image then you'd go back to the editor you can paste the url here or you can just simply paste the image there and it'll do it for you so it automatically loads everything for you it tells the image size give us a file name this would be the name it was already called so you can you can name it wherever you want Call it laptops and last we have adjust size this would be if you took the picture yourself and are uploading and it's a huge image you've probably seen on emails and stuff it's way too big for the web you don't need that so I could actually bring down the size or so this one this one it's 640 pixels we'll say I didn't want it to be any bigger than 500 gives me a little detail of it right there and then from there guys you simply make sure you have the folder you like and hit upload and now upload the image for you that quick there it is. I hit OK. And there it is, just like that. So I just found an, an image on the web and uploaded it. You know, of course, from there, if I wanted to drag and resize it, I could. Very simple. And then also, if I were to go back into my image icon now, click the folders I already have, and there it is. You see, we just uploaded. Click it again. Hit OK. Select. So you use that image twice. See the little different size because I uploaded them. So. In the same sense, I could also in Cellicore go in. This is my manage images over here. I can click new images up here. Then you'll see the same box here. This time I'm going to pick one off the computer. Go in. I'll pick this laptop image. Going from there, once again, I can change things if I like. I actually want to put this in a different folder. I created this folder by simply creating a new folder here. You can make subfolders however you like. You can move them around. I'm just going to put this one under laptop images, just like that. Hit save new image. There it is. It put it in that folder for me. I can preview it if I like. Now, if we were to go back to the editor, we have a new line here. I have a few options again. If I were to refresh my files over here, you'll see two things. You'll see the laptop that we just uploaded and the other one I happen to call laptops. So I could click this to drop it in. Or once again, I could go into my folders. One of folders, hit uh, we put that under laptop images, and there it is.
click it, put it down here, stick it in there. That easy, guys. And drag it, resize it if I like. All right, guys. This is Corey with SellerCore.com, the free auction template editor. This is uploading images. Please leave any questions or comments below. Thank you.